wait, wait. Are you are you breaking news right now? Are you going to break some Marvel news? I, okay. I'm about to. Here we I go. Don't need, but I don't need Marvel's permission to break the fucking truth. Okay? You don't want to answer me? You don't want to play ball? I won't call you again. Here and we then go. we'll fucking see how it goes over when Marvel news, like right now, is about to start dropping. And the bosses are like, well, did anybody call? And no, they didn't. So here's the deal. Okay? I got to be very careful how I phrase this. Okay. Marvel has denied what I am about to tell you. Okay. So, and that's a matter of timing. Is it that mm -hmm. I'm too early or am I too late? So the deal is that ha multiple sources have indicated that Harrison Ford either is or was the studio's top choice to star in the Thunderbolts movie. Wow. Okay. As General R Ross himself. Right. To replace replace William Hurt. Replace yeah. William Hurt. Because William Hurt passed away. Yes. yes. So Marvel said, that's not true. When I say, oh, I've heard okay. Harrison Ford has been cast in Thunderbolts, they say, that's not true. Okay. So let's be clear about that right now. Mar Harrison Ford has not been cast in the movie. Marvel is denying that Harrison Ford was involved at any point. I has been cast well. in the movie at okay. this point. Okay. The question is, am I early because, hey, we're still trying to work out a deal with Harrison Ford? Or right. am I late? And they actually did offer it to Harrison Ford and he turned it down. Hmm. Why would he turn it down? I imagine it's, do I really want to take over a role from my pal, William Hurt? Um, right. You know, did he turn it Contemporaries. down? Contemporaries. Out of respect for the memory sure. of his friend, William Hurt. Sure. Um, I think that that is a real possibility and a real concern for probably any actor of, of, of that age. Um, you know, Harrison Ford may be like, listen, if I'm going to come into the MCU, I want to be playing a character that I originate, not, you know, taking you know, over another actor's leftovers or whatever. And I would completely understand that perspective. But at the same time, Harrison Ford's also getting a little bit older and there's only so many opportunities to join the MCU as an 80 year old man or whatever. True. Very true. So what I'd initially heard was that this was a done deal for D23. Wow. That they, that they actually wanted to announce him as a cast member in Thunderbolts okay. at D23, but that they didn't because Kathy Kennedy put her foot down and said, no, we're going to keep the focus on Indiana Jones 5. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to become Harrison Ford joining the MCU. We're going to keep the, 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 the focus on Indy 5 for now. Okay. Um, so that, I think, is where it stands. Wow. Uh, Marvel has said... Harrison Ford's not in the movie, but do I think that they want Harrison Ford in the movie or that they wanted him? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense. He's one of the biggest movie stars ever. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you want him in the MCU and, and, and that kind of thing? So let's just say, John. Yeah. Let's go with first the scenario that he's, that he, you know, it is early. They're trying to make a deal. He's going to be in it. What do you think of that? Well, I think it would be great because, uh, you know, when the first, when the cast was announced, I saw people falling all over themselves trying to drum up excitement for this cast. But the entire cast is character actors and ensemble actors aside from Florence Pugh, right? I mean, even Sebastian Stan, David Harbour, even Julia Louis-Dreyfus, who is not a known commodity on screen in films. Uh, and the rest of the other actors, you know, Olga Kurilenko. These are, these are, in essence, ensemble to character actors. They're not necessarily leads on screen, proven leads other than Florence Pugh. So adding someone like Harrison Ford coming in, there is a, a great gravitas, a great strength, a great grounding energy to be the person who takes over for William Hurt. Because William Hurt wasn't going to be putting butts in seats either. Harrison Ford puts butts in seats still. And I think that would have been a great combination of Harrison and Marvel. I also understand why Kathleen Kennedy made this decision because Indiana Jones, that last one, really did not make people happy. And then there's been a lot of criticisms about this one coming in, even with James Mangold critiquing it. So it's on much more unstable ground as opposed to Marvel. They don't need Harrison Ford to stabilize Marvel. They certainly need Harrison Ford to stabilize Indiana Jones. So I understand her holding off on this. That being said, it also makes a lot of sense for them to consider him for this uh, particular role and nobody would have an issue with Harrison Ford stepping into the William Hurt role at all. Right. So now let's say Harrison Ford, either they did offer it to him, but he turned it down or yeah. maybe they were like, eh, he's, I mean, I don't think that this is the case, but like, Oh, maybe he's, he's too expensive. We, you know, we can't, we can't get Harrison Ford. For sure. That. We like Thunderbolts. We can't break his the quotes too high. Yeah, but right. who, so now at least we know though, that they are going to recast general Ross. Right. Right. Um, so who would you like to play him? If it's not Harrison Ford. Who is still out there 
that is a contemporary of William Hurt and Harrison Ford, who was big in the 1980s, who is still working nowadays. I don't know if a lot of people leap to mind. Nick Nolte comes to mind, although I think he's a bit unstable and he was already in the other Hulk movie. Which not a bad work. choice, but okay. It he could work. Nice. I mean, it could work if you're going to go the Red Hulk route with Thunderbolt Ross. Having Nolte, who'd already been somewhat of a Hulk in the Eric Bana film, there's possibilities that you can play with there. But he's about the only one I can think of right off the bat who's a contemporary. I mean, Gibson, if you want to take a chance on Mel Gibson, Mel Gibson could be really interesting stepping into that role. Great way to redeem him. Disney would take shit for it, but what the fuck? Half the country wouldn't give a shit, or more than half the country wouldn't give a shit. So I just find that. What, what about you? What do you got in your mind? I think that, you know, some risky ones. Someone people, some people mentioned Sam Elliott. I yeah, because he was um, Thunderbolt was already. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Alec Baldwin could be <sighs> interesting. Obviously very risky, but are you telling me he wouldn't do a good job? Uh, I, I would be shocked if he did it. Uh, I would be shocked if they offered it to him, especially now when it looks like charges might be on the horizon for him from that New Mexico situation with rust is what we're seeing. Ed Harris. Ooh, Ed Harris would be a nice choice. That's a great choice. There's actually. one other who I think would be really fun. I don't know if he's oh. a little too young for the rule because I'm not sure how old they really want, you know, uh, Jen Ross to be. But yeah. the person who would drive fans, I think, bonkers is Nick Cage. <laughs> oh, Nick Cage would be an interesting choice. I like that idea, actually. And we've seen Nick obviously have a lot of reverence for comic book property, so he would be a fantastic choice to step in and do that. I like some of these other... Costner is just a no-brainer. I mean, considering his he ascension with Yellowstone, the thing is, if you cast Costner, he's going to go into that script and rewrite that script to give him more scenes, to give him more of an impetus to be in the movie and to make it even more about him than it was before. So just know that with Kevin, he does not step into a script, a script and go, you know what? Make me a side character. It would definitely be him rewriting that whole thing for sure. So anyway, so that's the, the Thunderbolts rumor, right? Yeah. Is the Harrison Ford of it all. 